Good morning everybody, Belinda here. Today is the 1st of April here in New Zealand and um, I suppose you guys are still on the day before, most of you. So I'm working on a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm just putting a bit of white down first. So this is just um, a bit of paint and water and we're going to do the, well, I don't know, it's now called the pearl and cloud or cloud over pearl or, I don't know, Sarah Taylor does that. I'll put a link to her channel below, but um, I think that <laughs> it, it, it's, you know, um, it's kind of debatable if it is like a new thing. Okay. Okay, so, in my white, I see a, quite a couple of people have been asking me, I have, let's get that light on, mixed this to a very thin, runny consistency. Now, in here I have um, one part paint, to two pots of flow troll and water for consistency. Then I have added, okay, so this is these are the tubs that I buy. So I've got white gloss and white semi-gloss. So obviously the white gloss is actually stronger than the semi-gloss. So I've started to buy just the, the white gloss lately. Right. So, the colours I'm using, I have some black here with some iridescent medium in it, and um, which is all pre-mixed paints really. So I have a bit of turquoise and cyan blue. Then I have this blue here, which is actually just a mixture and leftover of a previous pour and I have red now the red might or might not be mixed with um, the iridescent medium and then um, what do we have the Payne's grey so I'm going to pour down some white cover the canvas I've got a little bit of um, the drops going on today and I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to be careful because I've been dropping my paint all over the show and on that note I have a lady who um, story time <laughs> I have a lady who comes uh, sometimes to help me out um, get rid of that cup at home with a couple of things and um, <laughs> the other day when she was here she had a three quarters of a bucket well yeah about three quarters now <clears throat> the bucket is normally about 10 liters so she had about three quarters of this bucket with some um, product in for the floor and it was hot water and she promptly dropped it all over four of my paintings that were complete well I haven't varnished them yet I had them out for varnishing and um, onto my hairdryer so clearly we won't be using that hairdryer again um, you know accidents do happen Luckily, I managed to rescue my paintings, so there was no dam real damage done there. But um, 
yeah if you've been following my channel you know you will know that I have um, quite often have some very random things going on okay so I am now almost there we go at the end I'm not gonna for now cover the like go crazy cover the whole thing because I'm gonna tilt it again anyway right so let's get rid of those gazillion bubbles Let's hope that this works. So I think, um, I'm not too sure about the design that I want to do. I think I'm going to go in with like a teensy bit of black. Probably too much. <laughs> I don't know guys. You know, got such a heavy hand. And then I'll go in with some of this blue. That's the turquoise. I'm going to try and keep some space in between. Okay, then I have this blue, which is, I think it's cyan blue. We just go straight through. So my flow troll is actually um, finished. I need to go and buy some more flow troll. You know what it's like when you don't have your fix. Just put it like that. A little bit random. And then I shall add some red. Huh. I don't know, guys. Put a bit of red like that. Let's see what happens. I was actually just going to swipe it, which I might actually do a little bit of swiping just now. But let's see how this goes. Kind of looks like one of those heartbeat things, a life monitor. Pretty cool though. And come back. Make it a little bit um, random ish. Wow. I really like that, just the way it is, actually. And then I got like um, minimalistic stuff. Maybe it's because I'm Sagittarius. I think Sagittarians are known to prefer minimalism. So I don't see any amazing cells coming up yet. I 
I'll just turn this around. Let's just get some of that off the edge and bring it back. So I do know that um, taking it off the edge promotes the cell development. Right, I just want to have a look. Now you see there, these are really there are cells popping up. That's because it has gone over the edge and stretched a bit. So let's turn that around. Now, in my mind. My little issue I'm having <laughs> is that I really like this and I don't really want to stretch it more. So we'll give it a torch and see what turns up, if anything. So just popping bubbles that will also promote cell action. And I'm going to just <coughs> quickly cover the rest of the white that's over here. So I was thinking, uh, I'm dropping my paint this morning and you know, I know that <laughs> when that starts happening to me, I should just probably stay clear away from it. But you know, as things go and as things happen, sometimes that's easier said than done. So here we are, painting. Alright, so after this, I'll make sure that my edges are covered well. Then I might just give it another torch. As I think you can see, there are some cells popping up here and there, especially down this end because, you know, I've, I've tilted it right off. But in this instance, I really don't want to, you know, for composition, I don't want to tilt it anymore. And then again, guys, don't forget to scrape your bottoms. If you don't do that, your paint will just keep pulling off the edge. Right. How's that side there, guys? Covered?
Make sure the corners are well covered as well. Look at these cells here. Let me zoom you in and see. Wait, other way up and under. Mm. Okay. And I guess um, that's as far in as it goes. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Alright guys, let's show you from this side first. All those puffy things going on in the cells. Yeah, so um, I suppose, you know, one could have uh, this in, in any orientation. And then I'll show you from the other side. I'll put the light off so you don't have that shadow. See the cells? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great Easter. Thanks guys. Bye.